hey guys welcome back now in this video we are going to cover some theory and also we'll do a quick recap of what we have done so far in the previous sections you have used postman as a client to fetch the data from your external salesforce application which has employee data now in this section what we are trying to do is we have created another salesforce application which is going to act as a client and it is also going to fetch the information from this external system so if you have to do all of this via apex code what you're going to do is you're going to write an apex class and through that apex class you are going to make an http call out to that particular api okay and first step is you're going to use your username password or you're going to authenticate yourself now sometimes you will be using name credentials to store that information and name credential will ease your effort because the authentication part where the token has to be generated and it has to be added to the next subsequent call automatically all this will be taken care with the help of name credential now in this particular section as i've mentioned you we are not writing a single line of code and so we are going to first authenticate so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a name credential in order to create a name credential you need to provide an auth provider so what is an auth provider auth provider allow third parties to access your organization from external services now in the case of name credential what you do is you specify the url of a callout endpoint and it's required authentication parameters for your third party integrations in one definition okay so previously you all you needed was name credential but now they have added something called as external credential now you can use external credentials to specify an authentication protocol and permission set or profile to use when authenticating to an external system now whenever you are trying to call to an external system two things are very important is authentication and the second one is authorization okay if let's say you have you have authenticated yourself means you can connect to other system but you're authorized you're not authorized that means even though you are connected you do not have the enough rights and the permissions to access that kind of data so you have to look into two things authentication and authorization authenticating means you are able to connect your authenticate yourself but are you somebody who actually needs to be looking at that data that is something you will control through authorization are you authorized to access that data so we can control the authorization through external credentials in external credential you have something called as principal and we are going to see how to use that for our authorization purpose so the first thing that we will be doing in the next tutorial is we are going to create an auth provider what is an auth provider basically they allow third party to access your organization from external services through the api integrations so you sometimes when you're trying to log in to another app okay using google credential that is basically your kind of using auth provider so similarly we are going to create an auth provider then we are going to create a name credential to specify the endpoint of the system or of the external application that we are trying to connect with and while creating name credential we will use external credential for authorization purpose okay so don't worry if you have not understood we are going to look at everything in the next video so i'll see you then thank you so much